What's good, everybody? This is your man, Justin Kicks, coming back at y'all with another video today, man. Uh, got a what I would call a double feature for you today. I got a couple of sneakers that I picked up a little while ago that I want to, um, you know, take a review at. These are two retros, and the thing with it, the retros I got, this is the first time I've ever purchased this, this model, right? So, uh, without further ado, make sure, again, you do like, subscribe, comment, all those good things. Appreciate everybody who's checked out the recent videos. Make sure to check out my last video. I discussed the Jordan High 85 coming out for $250 in the red and black colorway. Want to know your thoughts on that, if that's something you're going to go after and try to add to the collection, man. But today, we're going to take it a retro, and, and this is when you know you're, you're getting old because... Uh, when when they're already retro and stuff for players that started in the league way after you know you were into basketball so I'm now I'm seeing guys like with Jordan I was still young so I watched him as I grew up now I'm seeing young guys coming to the league watching them get old and now their sneakers are starting to get retro so uh I'll go ahead and let you know it's two Kevin Durant sneakers uh they've re-released a couple of his sneakers this year that First time they released, I didn't get a chance to pick them up. A couple of them, both of these I'd actually worn it when they first came out. But this is when sneakers was was a little bit harder to get than they are right now. And these still sold, but it wasn't as hard. So without further ado, man, let's go ahead and, and take a look at it. Let's start. I'm going to start. I got one in a size 13, one in a size 14. Uh, I actually wanted both of them in 14, but I didn't want a chance to pick them up. So one I had, I was able to get in the size I wanted. The other one was a size 13. So let's start with the 13 first and uh, go take a look at that one. So as I already told you, it is the Kevin Durant. So there's your uh, KD box, the normal KD box you see. I guess I, I'm not – I've had like one other KD in my lifetime, and I think it might have been the KD7. So the KD4 of his was the ones that I paid the most attention to. But like I said, I wasn't able to pick them up at the time. But let's go ahead and take a look at both of these and, and see what we got. So this is the KD4 in the light green, volt, and black colorway. Like I said, size 13 there. So and many of you know what it is just on that colorway. But let's go ahead and take a look. So there you can go. This is the, I believe, the weatherman. And I'm going to go ahead and get them both out here. We'll take a look at these. And again, this is a retro. And I forget when, what year they first came out. But beautiful, beautiful colorway on them. You have the weather map on the back. And I think the story goes that Kevin Durant wanted to be a weatherman when he was young. And I think he's released other uh, weatherman models with other some of his other signature sneakers. But... I think everybody considers this to be the best of that that theme on a sneaker. And again, I haven't tried these on. Uh, I've never had a KD4 on, so I don't know exactly how they fit. But they look look really good. This is bright, stands out. I remember when these first dropped that a lot of kids were playing in them. A lot of, uh, uh, a lot of hoopers was playing in these. They just have those bright, vibrant colors. You have like a, uh, on the upper... It's like a, almost like a foam posit kind of feel up there. Don't know exactly what you call that material, but it's like a hard shell material. Got that bright lime greenish color. You have the Volt color on the Nike sign on the top of the toe box. You have the black strap going across that has like little lines looking just like the, I guess, the Doppler radar kind of thing in it as well. Uh, has the 35, which is his number on there. On the inside, going around to the outside, you have all these Doppler radar colors with the big Nike sign in the middle outlined by the different radar colors. You got the KD logo in the back. You got that big Nike swoosh on the uh, strap. Take the strap off, anything under there. No, but you get to get a good look at what the sneaker looks at without the strap on it. The tongue has that radar continuing across it. It's got, let's see here, 35 written in a different font there on the tongue as well. The inside of the sneaker, on this one, on the right one, you got the Doppler radar on the inside of the sneaker. And then on the... Um, Insole, 
you got the sun, cloud, and a lightning strike there. So again, all related to the weather. I don't know if anything else is going up the insole is not. No, no, just has the the lightning bolt, the cloud, and then the sun going up on that. So that's on that sneaker. Let's see if it's the same on the other. Okay, so on the left one, all the uh, outsole and every, oh, I didn't show the outsole on the other one. So on this outsole, you have the Doppler radar kind of in his foot pattern on the bottom as well. Have that uh, translucent outsole so you can see through there. You got the black midsole. Uh, the rest of the upper is the same as the other one. On the inside of this one, it says the forecast calls for a thunderstorm. And you gotta keep in mind, when he was wearing this when his first release, he was actually playing for the Oklahoma Thunder. So that made, made perfect, perfect sense for that to be on there. So that's really the only difference between the two is what it says on the insole. Uh, like I said, this was kind of a nostalgic pickup. I remember how popular this sneaker was when it first dropped. And at that time, you know, this was kind of at the beginning of the explosion. Uh, of sneaker shopping and reselling and and younger collectors getting into it man because you had him lebron paul george had a sneaker kobe was still playing um had a sneakers coming out and you know everybody was had hot stuff at that time and this was one of the ones where they had great themes i don't know if you remember the phone posits were having big themes at that time as well. So this was one of the ones that caught a lot of attention. And I, I'm just glad to have us in the connection. It just it just reminds me of a time period of where you kind of had a changing of the guard from Jordan was gone, Kobe was, was full into his career, and then you had these young guys coming in with their signature sneakers and, and putting their stamp on sneaker history. So let me know if you try to pick these up or try to add them to your collection. Um, again, this was one, like I said, just, I love the colorway. I love anything that's bright like that has a great theme. I don't know if these ever came with like any kind of specialty box or anything, but, um, I could see if they did, especially if they did like a friends and family or seated pairs to anyone. it have been a great one to have a special box for. So anyway, that's the first of the double feature and it probably lets you know where I'm going with the second one, but this is the weatherman KD4. Let me know your thoughts on it. And uh, I know um, a lot of people were picking them up to play hoop, to hoop in this time. The prices aren't crazy resale on these. And I, I didn't know if they would be or not. I just kind of wanted to have them to put in my collection. So KD4 Weatherman, let's go ahead. I'll get these put up and then we'll come back and take a look at the, the other KD that I got for you today. All right, I'm back, man, and like I said, we'll go ahead and take a look at the second one, and I've had both of these for a while, man. I just, like I said, I've been trying to get back into doing my uh, sneaker review videos. Weatherman, I didn't mention it, but the Weatherman I had picked up through the EQL raffle with Oneness. I've talked about before, the local shop here that uh, gives an opportunity specifically to local local shoppers, so I was able to hit on there for those because in that size, it went kind of fast. And that size 13. Now this one I was able to hit on sneakers. And uh again, you got the KD box. This is the KD4 in the metallic silver and total orange. And uh so that I'll let you know what this one is. But we'll go ahead and uh take a look at this one. So if you look at that one, this is the um I believe this was the part of the galaxy pack, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe this was part of the Galaxy pack. You had a Kobe, Kobe in the pack, a LeBron, and for sure a KD. And even, I believe, they even brought back like a Charles Barkley that I do have. And um, there was like a, a new foam posit they came out with. It wasn't a straight like foam, foam posit one or pro. It was like that other version. I'll see if I can find it but and put a picture of it up. But... Let's go ahead and take a look at these. So these is the KD4, uh, I call them the KD4 Galaxy. I don't know if that's exactly the term, but this one was um, a popular sneaker as well at that time. Um, and I think, like I said, it was related to that. It might not have been the Galaxy. Was the Galaxy, is that what they called it? Or like the Area 72, 
you know, I... I'm, I I really can't remember. It was either like part of the ga phone positive gallery, galaxies or part of that Area 72 or something of that nature. But either way, this is size 14 on this one. The bottom, this is the glow in the dark. I'll see if I can try to get it to put it in the video for you. Uh, but you have the all silver metallic upper with the orange accent color. So you just the same kind of... Uh, model is the other one just different colors so you got the orange here on the smaller nike sign you have the orange kind of showing through the mesh on the sides you have on the big strap you have the huge orange swoosh there uh have the stitched kd on the back uh on the tongue and also on the inside of the strap you can see like the 3m has the two arrows going up and it says pull for lockdown so another part of that that galaxy theme there on the you have like the speckled laces as well and then on the tongue you have like a a, a pegasus if you can see that the pegasus right there with the kd35 at the top of the patch and this is a patch that is sewn on right here so pretty good details on it on the inside you have the galaxy pattern you can see the stars and everything like that let's see here and on the inside see if you can see it it's dark but you can kind of see the constellation in there and as far as me calling it the pegasus stuff i don't have the exact info on any of this like i said i just like how the sneaker look you got an orange on the inside of the strap there and like I said, just a really good looking model. I, to me, this is, of all KD sneakers, this is the best silhouette of all the ones he had. I like this one the best. I think he even had an Aunt Pearl on this one that looked good. I'd like to have that one as well. Uh, so we got the uh, left shoe. Same everything as far as the other one. Uh, translucent outsole. Have like a little galaxy picture right there. And again, this is all all glows and everything like that. You have the uh, stars and stuff going around the shiny midsole on this one as well. The inside, the inside on this one is the same as the the other side. So uh, huge, huge uh, popularity, like I said, when these dropped. I'm happy to have them in my collection now. Am I going out to hoop? No, uh, but these are a part of Nike history, a part of sneaker history. And I, I love anything that has a theme, was part of a pack, part of a story. And KD sneakers, you know, whether you like KD or not, some of his sneakers are some of the all-time favorites when it comes to Nike's basketball history. And like I said, this was when these guys came in. You, you always wonder, you think Michael Jordan retires, Kobe's getting towards the end of his career. There's always going to be that next guy that comes along. And you just don't know how popular they're going to be. Of course, no one's ever going to be Michael Jordan. But, um, you know, these guys put out, the Nike continues to put out good stuff. As long as it's got a good story, the details are good, things like that. You know, I'm, I'm going to be somebody that's all in because a lot of times I'm getting sneakers for the, not necessarily wear, but just to, to have, they look at them like they're pieces of art. And between this one and the other one, you know, I really, really, like the looks of it, the aesthetics, and this looks really good. So anyway, um, not a whole lot more to discuss on these. I will say this. I'm not sure if it's came out, come out yet or not. I've seen some people do some reviews on it, but I don't know if they had just got them early. The Nerf one would be the next one that if it drops, I want to try to get that one. I love what it would come with the, um, the special boxing that the original did with the little Nerf hoop and everything like that. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on both of the KDs that have dropped. Let me know if you tried to get any of them, added them to your connection collection. Let me know if you bought them when they originally dropped, man. And just let me know your thoughts on KD sneaker history overall. If you've been a fan of it, if you've ever picked any of them up. Um, some of them I, I really don't like, I'll be honest with you, but you know, again, to each their own. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some pictures of this glowing so or lit up so I can show it as well. And, um, I, you know, that's about it for this video, man. 
And again, man, I, I appreciate everybody checking out the videos. Like I said at the beginning, like, subscribe, comment, share, all those great things, man. And uh, I'm going to get out here and holler at you next time. Peace.